Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48 Swirl. And I am Deb Chanel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> thank you for coming over, spending a little time with me here on my show. Okay, it seems like it's going to be the Kenya Moore tell-all, as far as my viewpoints, tonight shows. Okay, we got another one coming out on her too about talking about having an accident when she wasn't even at home. And how close she came to actually being on that street when that car came uh, tearing down her um, her um, neighborhood or her area and knocked down her um, actual mailbox or something to that degree. But we'll get on into that commentary a little later on tonight. But we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore and her estranged, estranged, estranged mother. And her coming to grips on maybe not being in Kenya's life, but it seems like she wants to definitely be in her granddaughter's life. Now, that picture is a lovely, beautiful family picture of her grandmother, plus her heart. You, plus her heart. you can tell she was a looker you know, in her younger days. And that's Kenya Moore's father. Okay, so uh, we're going to get on into this story real quick, fast, in a hurry, because it doesn't really too, too much to say. But again, I am asking, pleading with Kenya, some things you just don't need to put on social media, okay? And I'm sure your father had a long talk with you about it, as well as your grandmama, about keeping some things to yourself. Keep it privately and you go through it privately with your family but evidently you still wants to put yourself on blast you still want to have the sympathetic vote put to the test and you want your ride or dies to be there for you even though you know certain people that are in your lives such as your so-called uh husband mark daly that's what you say. That's what I don't believe. But you giving it to us. We either take it or we don't. But he even have a problem with you being on social media. Uh, with telling all of your business that you feel would be a salacious story for us to viewpoint. Or have our commentary on. And he's right. He's right. You're doing it and we're following back up on you and giving you our rebuttals about whatever you put out, whether it's good or bad. Now, I don't know if that's Kenya Moore's mother that you just saw in that um, picture there. That's what some people are saying. And the similarities are very great, as you can see. It seems like she has her facial structure down to the T. And Kenya Moore likes wearing her hair that way as well. So she has a beautiful mom. And Kenya, you cannot take that away from from her she's a beautiful lady as well so with Kenya more knowing how secretive and private her mother is my question is why in the hell Kenya would you be putting out things that you're allegedly your mother had purchased for your daughter you know putting it on Instagram and making us want to go and research again who is Patricia more okay going into her personal life now i don't go that deep i stay on the surface because <laughs> it's just not really that important to me to find all the nicks and nooks and crannies of your life and the people that formed you to who you are at this point in your life today again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so at this time and like and share my videos all right but uh yeah can you why did you take this opportunity to seize the moment and show us a birthday card written out to your granddaughter okay it wasn't written out to you it was really saying and wishing your daughter a happy birthday. Okay, why couldn't you have put, in, put that in like a little storybook for her or a little keepsake box for her until she gets a chance or Miss Patricia Moore gets a chance to want to come around you guys and definitely keep that off camera. That's something sacred. That's something... You always wanted was to have a relationship with your mother. And you know from what it seems. Your mother don't want to have a relationship in public with you. Private she may can do that. 
But public, no. Same as your current husband, as you want us to believe. He don't want to be put out there on front street. He don't want to be out there in public with you. Taking a few pictures here and there when y'all let events or uh, celebrations, like award shows or whatnot. Okay, get it, got it good. But just showing and filming every day his personal life that has nothing to do with you. Yeah, that's a bit much. And I, I kind of feel like you're doing the same thing or you will be trying to do the same thing to your mother if she wants to come out of hiding or maybe not necessarily hiding. That probably was a bad word to use, but she wants to come out in public and be greeted by uh, you and your daughter, her granddaughter. And she's fearful. Uh, hell, I would be fearful if I didn't portray myself to be... Um, in my daughter's life, and she's gotten to be uh, a grown up to be successful, very savvy businesswoman on a large platform of, of a gossip entertainment show, hyphenating on or highlighting gossip entertainment show. She might not want to assert herself or be a part or uh, affiliated with anything of that nature, where she's going to have to come up with these hard answers to the questions we all want to know why did you abandon your daughter why did you uh disregard that she wasn't there all this stuff it, what can you more has said about you is it true you know so we can pose a perspective on her and you know it's going to be for the negative but you know i go a little further i try to say okay well what happened in her childhood when she was caring kenya because kenya wanted us to believe she was 16 17 year old uh when she got pregnant with her had the pregnancy through its entire and just gave it up for her mom or her father's side to raise. Okay, at least she didn't abandon her and throw her out in the trash or, you know, try to kill her in some sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like some of these um, people do that are I call deranged out their minds and, you know, they didn't know what they were doing at the time. That's what I would truly like to believe. But, I mean... She left you in good hands. She, uh, the hands that she left you in to be raised by, they flourished. Uh, nothing but love on you. It's not like you were abandoned. You had love. Your aunt showed you love, which is your mother's sister. Okay, um, but that wasn't enough for you. But it seems like okay now the mother or your mother Kenya is trying to melt down the ice that has been keeping y'all to you know from each other or she's lowering down her guard so she can probably tell you what she went through uh in, re in regards to the relationship that y'all currently have and she wants to work on it because she don't want to miss out on baby brooklyn uh growing up and her not knowing her biological grandmother or you feeding all this negative energy in her will feel uh into her life and her environment about her grandmother and it may not be true and she just want to you know set the record straight and say okay i'm here but i'm not here for your reality show i'm not here to be put out on front street i'm not here to answer to any of uh, uh the commenters out there or the vloggers that's not my life that's not what who i want to answer to and that's what your mom's pretty much seem like she may give us if you give her the time to be exposed so i'm like can you have this relationship repair this relationship but don't do it on you know the social media sites like you're trying to give out all information and break stories about whatever is happening in your life that you think people would want to know and want to keep talking it up in social media making you more and more and more relevant i just think by you doing that, it's going to pose a problem of your mother not wanting to get to know you or divulge any type of information. You're going to always have to live vicariously through your aunt and your cousins or whoever's close to your mother. Because your mother's not here for social media. Okay, when most women, they're not. <laughs> most people, they're not. They don't want to put their sales on front street. And want to let everybody have an opinion or perspective on their life. Especially if it hadn't been a real good life where they didn't have any infractions. Or they weren't, uh, for lack of a better word, they weren't concerned about what other people thought about them. You know, it's hard to, you know, have someone try to spill off their whole life when they're not probably sure how shit went left anyway. 
you know, to be able to tell someone that. But it just is what it is. But we're going to go on into this media takeout uh, review they put out. Uh, London A wrote it out. Can't pronounce the last name. Don't want to mess it up. He's a correspondent over there. Uh, writing up commentary for media takeout news. Uh, it's either some news you can use coming through Deb Chanel's 48's world. Vicariously, okay, living through them. Uh, breaking their stories out for them. Uh, you can take it for what it is. It's entertainment. Uh, it's their perspectives, their article that they wrote up or how they viewed something that someone had given them information, an outside source that's closely related to Kenya Moore, allegedly. So it may be true. It may not be true. Just take it for entertainment. Take it for something to talk about with each other. And we just put our feelings and our viewpoints and opinions to the subject matter okay but anyway it goes on it's titled as real housewives of atlanta star can you more exchange estranged mother sends christmas gift for her daughter brooklyn now if anybody follows kenya moore uh and i do occasionally when i see stories i like to go and verify stuff of that nature she did have on her instagram account pictures of some beautiful dresses that her mother uh and probably great grandmother had sent her uh through mail or or i don't know a special uh messenger to where she stays in behalf on behalf of her and her her mother meaning kenya's great grandmother a grandmother i should say um which would be i guess uh brooklyn's great grandma but like i said that's a picture of allegedly kenya moore's mom i'm not sure but they do show a real true uh resemblance towards being related to one another and that's her dad and you know he's funny <laughs> that's all i can say he's a funny character and he was allegedly married to kenya moore's mom um patricia moore if that is a truly identified picture as her and of course there's kenya and of course she looks like both her mom and her dad especially her mom okay but we're gonna get on and start the article the article is reading as regular viewers of real housewives of atlanta know that kenya moore has been exchanged estranged from her biological mom or mother for many years so it was a surprise to some when kenya shared that her mother had sent her sent a gift for her granddaughter brooklyn daily my prayer has always been to have a family we've had a late celebration for the brooklyn daily for her birthday and got a surprise of a lifetime my mother sent her a gift or uh, sent her a gift for her meaning brooklyn she wrote in the caption of the post now just a sidebar kenya it's not like you were orphaned or you were put in an orphanage. Nobody wanted you. Your daddy's side of the family wanted you. And they raised you. They educated you. And made you the woman that you are now. So for you to say. Um, you always wanted to have a family. It's crazy. And maybe you're talking in the instance. Maybe you want to have your own family. And have the mother. The dad. The child. And y'all live in this big old white house and picket fence. And y'all live heavily, heavily, happy everly after. Okay. And sometimes some people do get to experience that. And you have to look at their life struggle to the, if they had gotten through a rough patch to get to that point. Or they just naturally knew who they wanted to marry. They married and everything was a hunky door. Well, I don't know if any marriage is hunky door. And I can tell you, marriage is a lot of work. It's a lot of give and take. It's a lot of compromise. It's a lot of closing your mouth when you want to keep it running. And sometimes it's a lot of silence that goes on. But you're never supposed to let the sun go down before you apologize to your significant other on any infringements that you made towards one another. Now, that's what I was always taught. Okay, it just is what it is. Some people stay together. Some people don't. Some people might walk that heavily, heavy, what is it, happily ever after walk uh, until they, you know, spirit is taken out of them and they're dead. They're gone. You know what I'm saying? And some people don't get that. But it is what it is. They make a family, whether it's a biological family put together or it's one they, they put together to make a family. But, you know, that's the story we are at now. 
but Kenya is basically saying her prayers was to have a family. My prayer has always been to have a family. That's a very profound statement. I would love to see what she really is talking about. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, I had stopped praying about our relationship, but God sent a message through my child. This is life. And despite challenges, God is always on time. Happy holidays, heart emojis, hashtag love family, forgiveness, miracle baby, and healing. Now, I can say children are a very good instrumental part that they play with being newborns and they come in the midst of a chaotic type family dynamics uh, stages that they're going through. Rough patches, people not speaking to one another for whatever reason. Half the time you don't forget what you were mad about that person, what what you were mad for for at that person for whatever they did sometimes you just have amnesia and you can't remember for the life of you you just know you didn't like them and they did something to you but you know um for Kenya saying it's a miracle and this that and the third then have that moment behind the scenes i mean we can see it when y'all get together you can probably tell us little bits and pieces here but it just feels to me, just like you said, you had a premonition that Mark was going to propose to Cynthia. Okay, I call it bullshit. But if you say, you you know, that's what it really happened. Okay, you have your viewpoint. You have your perspective and your opinions on it. I respect that. But the rest of us are looking, you, looking at you like a bullshitter. Okay, you just don't like to keep your mouth closed. When people have hot tea, you want to spill it instead of waiting and let it spill itself or do it at the right approach appropriate time like once she got proposed to then you could have opened up your mouth said girl we knew all along you know and just made banter that way but for you to do it for you to have done it the way you did it was just foolery and total fuckery okay just keeping it real but um Going back to the article, it says, according to Kenya, her mother abandoned her as a child. And despite her success in life, she has suffered psychologically because of it. All of which has been played out on the show over time. Reuniting with her mother is great news for Kenya, who is currently separated from her husband, Mark Daly. Now, you can pretty much take it however you want to. I'm just saying, to me, it seems like. Kenya is trying to get brownie points, sympathy points, empathy points. I don't know. Because ain't no way in the world. I am going to put my mom on front street and have somebody, everybody, come and attack her for doing what she did when she was younger in her life. And evidently, her mom is maybe allegedly suffering from some psychological damage as well. My hopes and prayers is that Kenya can handle and resolve this issue with her mother, her daughter, her family dynamics um, to repair it, get to a point where they can be in a room together and for them to dialogue off camera, meaning not taping purposes, not for Bravo to get their little coins in on it and um have us keep it out there being re relevant because we're talking about it now it's some things that i can back away from and and let things just happen naturally organically but when you have a person like kenya that want to put everything out that she know would be a good storyline or a good piece of uh a story to tell for it to just keep manifesting itself and hopefully bring it a storyline for her for season 13 you know what i'm saying so i don't know i'm like can you you do too much some things like i said need to be left unsaid or said out of the public eye some things just need to be private and held in confidence only in your life where you are actually living it and you're not giving 100 percent to your public or your viewers or your followers or however you look at your fan base okay some things you need to keep it to yourself and it is kept close to the heart but that's all i have for this video y'all y'all let me know what y'all thought about miss kenya moore trying to bring her mama out on front street when her mama ain't tried to come out front street not one season since she's been on the show of real housewives of atlanta what do y'all think about her mother trying to as well as her great grandmother trying to get to know her uh, granddaughter you, is you you think it's going to be reciprocated both ways or it's just going to be the mother and the grandmother just wants to get to know the granddaughter without even fooling with Kenya.
What do y'all think about that? But I'll leave that for you all to get down in those comments, express your opinions on subject matter. Because you know I like to hear them and you know I read them. Okay? So it just is what it is. But happy holidays to everybody. And again, if you like my commentary, you like what I give y'all over here as far as entertainment, my spin on how I view trending topics out there. Please continue to keep subscribing and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And definitely keep sharing and liking my videos. But I'll see y'all again one more time, one more time tonight. And then we're going to call it a night. All right. Blessings to you all and to all. How they say good night, but I'll be back. All right. So if you have your notifications on, you will know when I drop my next video. And I tell you, don't wait. Go on over there and see what I got to say because you know I'm very opinionated. Some people like what I say and some people don't. And they they let me know either way. <laughs> and I love them all. But I think I just keep expressing just be respectful. Just be respectful to, to the people that you're talking with in the uh, or interacting with in the comment section. And still make your um your perspective known okay and when you try to come for me please come respectfully because i like the dialogue but i won't put up with a lot of nonsense okay because that's not what we do over here we don't beef over here at um Deb's nails for days where it's a lot of beefing channels out there and mine is just not one of them okay we smooth like a fine wine we age with time okay we try to get it in where we can fit in okay but y'all enjoy the commentary that i put out on my youtube channel platform and i will see you next video all right bye bye guys